Okay, so class, I'll be solving this question. I believe you can see it on the board, right? And the question says, you guys should read for me. What was the question? Alright, very good. Now looking at this question, this question for the sake of those who just joined this class, this question is on the topic electrochemistry, specifically electrolysis. Are you getting me now? Yes. Now we'll solve it and analyze it together. Remember, I've taught you guys the introductions to this aspect. So we want to use both knowledge I gave to them to solve this question for the people. For the SSP, please pay attention. Pay attention. So I, I repeat the question. The question says, identify the product at the anode and cathode. This is one word we should take note of, anode and cathode. So we have to understand what does anode mean and also what does cathode mean. Now, generally, answer, anode and cathode, what would I call them? Would I call them electrodes or electrolytes? Electrodes. Electrodes, right? Yes. Very good. Would I, should I call them electrolytes? No. Because I believe I told you guys that electrolytes are what? Are they compounds or elements? Compounds. Compounds are what? Conduct electricity when they are in what form? Liquid form. Only, right? Yes. yes. Do you understand? Because I told you guys something else. I told you guys that this guy I'm calling these guys I'm calling electrolytes. I can there's another synonymous term and it's called conductors, right? I told you guys that conductors are not compounds, but rather they are what elements. Those ones they conduct electricity when they are in what state of matter. All the things, do you understand? That means they conduct electricity when they're in the free state of matter, be it solid, liquid, or gas. But for electrolyte, they only conduct electricity when they are in liquid form. So moving further, let's walk towards the electrodes. The electrodes can be either, we said they, are, they can be either what anodes or what cathodes. Now, and I, I also told you guys that, I also told you guys that, Electrolysis, which we are discussing right now, I also told you guys that electrolysis, which we are discussing right now, where does it occur? I told you guys it occurs in a special vessel, which I drew for you guys in the first class. It occurs in a special vessel called something. What's that cell? Electrolysis cell. Very good. I told you guys that electrolytic electrolysis occurs in a special cell or a special vessel called what? The electrolytic cell. Do you understand? Did I, did I tell you guys is the electrochemical cell? No. no. But we, I, I believe I explained the differences between both cells, right? Yes. For those people who were in the class. So, moving for the class, in an electrolytic cell, we have to know the sign for anode and cathode. Knowing this, if you help us to solve this question, do you understand? Yes. So, what is your anode for an electrolytic cell? Positive. What about the cathode? Yes. Very good. So moving further, if we, we understood what I just explained, yes. because we use it, please pay attention, I beg you all. So class, that is for that. So moving further, which aspect of electrolysis do we use to solve this question? Remember I told you guys that this question is on what? Mechanism of electrolysis, right? Yes. Mechanism of what electrolysis for this two, I have given you guys the notes already. Yes. Mechanism of electrolysis occurs in how many steps? Three yes. steps. Do you understand? Yes. What was the first step I gave to you guys the other day? Yes. Very good. So step one is ionization, meaning that we we'll form ions. What's the other step? Migration. Very good. So after we are done ionizing, we then migrate them. Do you understand? Yes. And what's the last step? Discharge. Discharge. So how do we solve this question? Very easy, like ABCD. Now, moving further. Another thing we have to pay attention to this question is this. I read the question. Identify the product at the anode and cathode, which we have to understand now. During electrolysis of what? Molten sodium chloride. Very good. So we have to know what is this molten sodium chloride I'm seeing in the board. What is this molten? I saw the word molten. I saw sodium. What does this one mean? Remember, I told you guys that electrolytes are compounds that conduct electricity when they are in what form? Class. Liquid form. Do you understand? And whenever we are discussing about when a compound can conduct electricity in liquid form, it can mean two things. 
It means that the compound can be either molten, what we are seeing on the board, or can be either in the form of a solution. And I told us the difference between them, right? I told you guys that when a compound is molten, it means that that compound has no water attached. I believe you know the chemical form of water, H2O. So whenever a compound is molten, it has no water attached. So molten means there is no water. So water, I cancel water, I bad water. Water is out. But for solution, it means that that compound has water in it. So I will add water to it. H2O, I will put it. Do you understand? So looking at this, because this compound, is this not a compound? Yes. So if this is a compound, what is this? This is the electrolytes. Are you getting me now? Yes. This, is a, this is not an element. I told you guys, electrolytes are compounds only. So this is the compound, so then, this is the electrolyte. want to break now. So looking at this electrolyte, now in order of this topic, electrochemically, we don't call it break, call it decompose. Do you understand? We want to decompose. So, molten solar chloride, what do you think this will be? First of all, even if you don't know what molten means, I believe everybody sitting here should know what sodium chloride is. What's the chemical formula of sodium chloride? Everybody should know this, so do you understand? And now, molten, molten, what does this mean? Is there water attached? No. Is there water attached? No. So there is no water. But if I saw something like sodium chloride solution, would there be water? Yes. yes. So most of sodium chloride is just sodium chloride we are looking at right now. Are you following me now? So let's start step one. What's the compound? Ionization. So we'll bring the compound and write it NaCl. So on this, they said, what are the ions present in this compound? That's the question. For that first step, what are the ions present in this compound? I have two ions. I can see two ions already. What are ions, class? This is one word. Ions are charged atoms. Do you understand? Atoms stand alone with the charge. These are all ions. They can be either positive or negative. If ions are positive, then they should be called cat ions. If they are negative, they should be called anions. So I can actually see two ions here. Some of you know from SS1, they touch many times. And the ions I can see is two, sodium. Sodium is a metal, and metals are always positively charged. That is why it's any plus. And there's a reason why it's plus. This plus means that it's just one charge that you are seeing here, Na plus one. There's a reason because sodium is a group one element. Are you getting me now? Yeah. And not that is chloride. <laughs> are you following me now? Yeah. Because I can see Na and CL here. So I have two ions, which is Na plus and CL minus. So these are the two ions we've got here. Are you following me now? Yes. We, we are done with step one, which is what? Ionization. What's the two class? Migration. So after we form this ion, we want to migrate them. We want to what? Migrate them. As if you want to live from the ground to another country. We are migrating. Do you understand? So how do we migrate them? Simple like ABCD. We, where are we migrating them to? We are migrating them through these terminals. They are called terminals. Do you understand? Which are anodes and cathodes. You know in the diagram I drew the other day. Do you understand? So we are migrating them to anodes and cathodes. How do I migrate them? Do I not take a sodium to one and the other one to the other? No. We have to understand why we migrate them. I will have to go back to physics. There is a scientist called Charles D. Augustus Coulombs. You read about Coulombs before. Even if you know it, but simple. Let me just say what he said. He said, like charges repair. Light charges means plus plus. Do they come together or repair each other? Repair each other. Minus minus. Repair. Man man. Repair. Woman woman. Repair. Do you understand? But unlike charges attract. Do you understand? Plus or minus come together. Man and woman comes together. Do you understand what I'm saying? So with that knowledge, we'll be able to migrate them successfully. So then we are migrating them to these terminals, and the first of the terminal I can see here is anode, right? Yeah. And what's the other terminal? Cathode. So which one? Is it sodium or chloride? I should my which one should I migrate to? Come, come. Come and sit. So what? Where should I migrate them to? See, even if this is your first time seeing this, you can understand. Not fast. Am I fast? Like it's simple, like ABCD, if you just calm yourself down. So, anode cathode, why am I migrating these ions I've got into? Remember, I told you that Charles Jogosos Colum said, light charges repair, or light charges attract. Sodium, more charge than you see in front of sodium, plus. And now, what did I tell you that anode is? 
Kind of this is not positive. Yes. What about cathode? Yes. Negative. So should plus plus come together? No. Do you understand? Yes. So where should sodium be migrated to? Cathode. I believe you understand why now. Yes. Because cathode is negative, sodium is they will come together. So sodium will be migrated to cathode. So automatically chlorine, chloride, is not called chlorine. When chlorine has a charge, the name changes to chloride. But without this charge, it is called chlorine. So then, this is here. Are you getting me now? Yes. Because anode has plus before. So chlorine is minus, will come together. Do you understand? We have successfully explained migration. Last step. And it's called what? Discharge. What's it called? Discharge. Remember, in our first class on this topic, for this two, but for those in SS3, not it now, I gave them an acronym, and that acronym is... Is the camera taking this place? And that acronym is PRIO. Do you understand? C-R-O-A-O. C here means cathode. Arrow here means something. Thank you very much. R is what? Reduction. R is what? Reduction. What about A? What does it mean? Arrow. Which is? Oxidation. Which is this? And O is what? Oxidation. So we have to understand something, class. Reduction and, and oxidation are two key reactions in electrolysis when we study them. So we have to know what reduction and oxidation mean. And I gave you guys the definitions, right? Based on different terms, right? I use oxygen to define reduction and oxidation. I think I talked in the street. I use um, hydrogen to define it. I use electron number. I use oxidation number, right? So in the course of this class only, of using just electron number to define reduction and oxidation. Are you following me now? Yes. Because I'll, I'll be using just what? Electron number in the case of this question. And what's the acronym I'll use to define it? Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. O is, R is is, and L is loss. Do you understand? Yes. Arrow is gain. Sorry, arrow is what? Reduction. I is is, and G is what? Gain. And what are we gaining or what are we losing? Electron. So oxidation is loss of electron. Reduction is gain of electron. Listen, listen. When you lose electron, when you lose something, we didn't come back to your book. To go right, yes. but when you gain, will not come to you. Yes, please use that tech, use that understanding. Let's walk towards it because we have to now we've migrated them. And what was the ions we got? It's not chloride and any plus. Yes. So let us write there. Let us get now which of the ions will not be discharged. That would be the question we ask ourselves. It is simply these two guys, it's not these two guys we had at the end of migration one yes. sodium and chlor chlorine, right? Yes. So it is sodium and chloride ion that will be discharged. Then another, the last part of this question will be provide two type of reactions based on our electrodes, and they are called. This one is anode. Anode have a reaction. They call it anodic reaction. Anode have a reaction. What's it called? Anodic reaction. Cathode have a reaction. What's it called? Cathodic reaction. Are you getting me now? So according to this question, they want, they want us to provide the anodic reaction and what class? Cathodic reaction. So let us start with the cathodic reaction class. Let us start with the words. Cat I'm not rushing. Take note. It's simple. Cathodic reaction. How do we write our cathodic reaction? What was migrated to at the cathode? It's not sodium. Yes. You write it the way I see it. And what are you seeing here? N A plus. Do you understand? Yes. What did I tell you guys that cathode undergo? Reduction. What about anode? What they undergo? Very good. So on this, we are writing cathodic reaction. So what is occurring here? Is it reduction or oxidation? Reduction. Answer now. Reduction. And what is reduction? Gain of electron. Gain of electron. Electron, I'm, I'm dragging electron to myself. Are you following me now? If I'm dragging electron to myself, that means electron will be in what side of the reaction? Reactant side. Remember, we have two sides of a reaction. We have reactant and product. Reactant and product. So then I'm gaining, it should be my reactant. Are you following me now? And this electron has its own symbol. 
it is e minus are you following me yes. so on this set so this electron should be here because i'm gaining electron are you following me now so on this what do you think i'll get as my product simple like a b c d i have n a plus i have e minus here what do you think i should get here simple this is just electron that wants to tell, tell us the charge. But what element is what G element here? It's not sodium. Yes. Is that can write any other element here? No, it's logical. I'll write my sodium back. But this time around, the sodium will be neutral. Do you get Because this plus and minus will cancel each other. Do you understand? Yes. This plus and minus will cancel each other. So class, this is the reaction for the cathodic gas. Do you understand? This is what the cathodic reaction is not hard, it's simple. Practice makes perfect. No one day you should learn all of these things. The next is what? Anodic reaction. And what did I tell you guys about? What's occurring at the anode? Oxidation. And what did I tell you about oxidation is? That means we are giving up. We don't like electron. Electron go away. Do you understand? So electron should be my product. So then, first of all, right, what was discharged at the anode? That was that. CL minus, right? Yes. And then I'll definitely draw my yield sign and the electron will be out. Do you understand? Yes. Electron will be what? Out. What do you think I should write again? Same guy. But this time around, I will not write it as CL alone. I'll write it because chlorine as an element is diatomic. Class, what did I say? Chlorine is diatomic. Chlorine does not exist alone. Chlorine, that means two, right? Yes. Chlorine exists as CL2. It's something you should know this chemistry. Do you understand? It is chemistry. Chlorine is always diatomic. So definitely this chlorine I'm today here is CO2. Are you following me? Yes. But now looking, do, looking at this reaction, is it balanced? No. no. Because now I have two chlorine here, I have a chlorine here. One. One. So what do I what number should do that I should put here? Two. It's not too balanced because my charge is now two minus or minus two. Are you following me? Yes. It's simple. My charge is now two minus or minus two. And this one is just the way it is here. It's one. So definitely for me to balance, I'll put two as well. Yes. Do you understand? Yes. Here's the reaction for the anodic app. Do you understand? Yes. So we are done with this question. Do you get? It's actually very easy. Practice makes perfect. All right, so we are done. If you find this video lesson helpful, do well to click on the subscribe button and also share it with your friends. Thanks for watching.